I started this project because being a diver for four years now, I've dived all over the world really, and I've never seen good coral formations, and I've always wondered why, because coral is so essential to the marine environment. It's really the basis of biodiversity, and whenever I go diving, I never really see good coral formations, which left me wondering why. And so when I talked to my friends about it and just my parents to see, like, to gauge their interest in coral, there wasn't a huge interest, which was really concerning because coral is so important. Coral only covers 0.0025% of the ocean floor, yet it yields 50% of the oxygen we breathe, and it absorbs 33% of the carbon fossil fuels we burn. Yet we're seeing a rapid decline in Thailand and in all over the world of chlor coral bleaching, and which is really, really concerning. There's been a rapid decline of coral all over the world due to warming climate, due to, due to plastic pollution, and just due to human contact with coral, which is very concerning. And so this inspired me to start this youth-led organization called Care for Coral, which intends to rehabilitate coral reefs all throughout Thailand. And our mission is to create, educate, rehabilitate, because we want to involve children and kids to educate the younger generation about the importance of rehabilitating coral and how it's so essential to saving our environment and our world. Because right now, in my generation, I can barely see coral formations. And so just imagine what it'd be like for younger generations when they go out into the ocean. I feel like my generation, at least, and a lot of younger generation as well, they are aware of this problem, of this crisis, of this global warming crisis and how a lot of species are becoming extinct, but being aware is one thing and caring about it is another. Because once you care, you're ready to make an impact. But I want everyone to know that making an impact can start really simple and small. Like all of us can make an impact by just collecting garbage and just by throwing away and separating garbage so it ensures that it doesn't go into the ocean and causes the corals to disease and die off. Because right now there's 11.1 .1 billion tons of bits and pieces of plastic in the Pacific Ocean alone, in the Asia Pacific Ocean alone, and that is causing corals to bleach at a massive rate. So it's just small things that we could do every single day. So we started a few weeks ago and the first group of divers already went, but today we're going to have more students to get certified in order to go to our Kat Tao trip to go help construct the bottle nurseries that we plan to do or as well help add on to artificial reefs in the area. So on the 8-9, we go to Samasan, which is where these divers, where these new divers will get certified. And after that, we continuously teach them. We're going to host seminars about how important coral restoration is and the techniques that we're going to be using in October. And then in October is when the kids will be able to construct their own bottle nurseries. They'll be there right where the action is to see different coral formations in the water in Katao and be able to see what their progress could yield. And it's a very family and friendly inclusive trip because we also plan to have snorkeling activities there to just include everybody into the process and to make it fun because even though it's service and even it, we, it can be fun while helping our world survive. I hope to expand this project in the coming years. I hope to expand this to like all throughout Thailand and every single island just to have people become more aware of how important and essential coral is for our marine life and for the world's sustainability. And so after the trip in October, we're obviously going to come back maybe in a, in a few months to see what our coral formations are like, what is working and what is not, to just learn more about what we've done. And New Haven Conservation, Reef Conservation will be constantly monitor, monitoring what we create and what we help to restore. I feel like a lot of kids, at least my generation and obviously the younger generation, we're all taught in school about climate change and how much it affects us. Like everyone is aware of that issue. But since it's always so forced upon us, we feel this pressure to act, but some of us just don't know how. And some of us think that we can't because we're only 16 or only 15, 14, 13, whatever. But again, we can always start small. And if we don't start now, when will you? because it takes just one simple urge to want to create something new, to want to help the world and to help the ecosystems. And it's not that hard. 
If you are interested and passionate about something in the environment, talk to your parents about it. Talk to your friends about it. Because if you talk to more people, that idea will grow and it will actually be placed and you'll be able to grow from there. So everyone has the ability to do something to help the ecosystem and I think that's what's important, our own ability and our own passions to drive us.